Let me know if y'all feel the same way or if it's just me. Whenever I hear about something going on with the Ravens, hear about different rumors with the Baltimore Ravens, I think it could be true. I think they may even be accurate. But for me personally, it always hits different, a whole lot different when it comes directly from Jeff Zrebic. Because I know with Jeff Zrebic, he is very careful with what he puts out. He does not just put out anything, and he is always on point. He makes sure he puts out accurate information every single time. That's why we love Jeff Zrebic. That's why Jeff Zrebic is our favorite guy who covers the Baltimore Ravens, and he has been for a really long time. So recently, we've been hearing so much about the Baltimore Ravens being interested in Saquon Barkley. We've been hearing a lot about that. Of course, we've been hearing about Derrick Henry, too. But with Saquon Barkley, we've been hearing so much about him. But today, another report from ESPN came out and said that the Baltimore Ravens uh, are considered serious uh, seriously interested in Saquon Barkley. Let's, let's just read it real quick. It says, the Los Angeles Chargers, Baltimore Ravens, and Chicago Bears are believed to be serious suitors. The rival Philadelphia Eagles and Dallas Cowboys have interest but are not expected to reach Barkley's price point. Still, they shouldn't be completely counted out because they are, at very least, involved. So when I saw that, I'm like, all right, cool. So this just goes along with a lot of what everybody else was saying. But then I read Jeff Zrebik's article from today from The Athletic. And let's see what he had to say about Saquon Barkley uh, particularly. He said, uh, Saquon Barkley, Derrick Henry, and Josh Jacobs. So three of the, the same running backs that a lot of people have been talking about. He said this, the Ravens have done their homework on the top backs. If the price is right, they could pounce. And I, I think that is very significant because like we've talked about earlier, we know the Ravens are always going to have a running game no matter who's back there. We know that. But in certain situations, we know that no matter who's back there, the Ravens would get away from their running game. And that would be very frustrating for us as fans and just for everybody watching. Like, why are the Ravens not using what got them to this place in the first place? We saw it this year in the AFC Championship game big time. We've seen it throughout regular season games from time to time. Uh, we saw it in 2019. We, we, we've seen it a, enough times to be like, hey, what's the issue here? So maybe, just maybe, with all these reports coming out, and just because the Ravens could be interested doesn't mean it's going to happen, but if the Ravens do something significant at the running back position, I do think this could really change how they approach running the ball, especially regular season, I ain't worried about that. But this could change how they approach running the ball when it means the most. And that's what could be so significant about adding somebody like a Derrick Henry, like a Josh Jacobs, like a Saquon Barkley. So we'll see exactly what the Baltimore Ravens do really soon. But we got a lot of big news and it's very significant news to talk about ahead of free agency in today's video. Before we get into it, make sure you leave a like on the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on because... The video is going to be going crazy, especially over these next couple of days. Tomorrow, it starts the legal tampering period, so teams are going to start agreeing to deals with free agency. I mean, excuse me, with free agents. So, y'all, just get ready for that. Now, from that same article, Jeff Zrebic has some very, very significant dates coming up for some significant Baltimore Ravens players. Uh, here goes one that I did not know about. Uh, I knew a decision had to be made soon on Odell Beckham Jr., but the exact date. Uh, he said, Thursday... Wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. has to be released before 4 p.m. on this day or his salary for the 2025 season will become fully guaranteed. So barring a new contract agreement with the Baltimore Ravens, Odell Beckham Jr. will become a free agent. So Thursday is the day to watch out for. Well, by Thursday, we will know. Like, So there ain't going to be no more guessing, no more like, oh, is Odell Beckham Jr. going to be with the Ravens or not? By Thursday at 4 p.m., we will know if Odell Beckham Jr. will continue to remain with the Baltimore Ravens or he will go elsewhere. I think most of us are expecting him to go elsewhere, but we won't know till we know. Another important date, somebody who has garnered just as much conversation as Odell Beckham Jr. when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven on whether the Baltimore Ravens should move on or they should stay with this particular player is Ronnie Stanley. Let's read this part. He said, March 18th, so that's coming up too. This could be a key date in determining left tackle Ronnie Stanley's immediate future with the team, which is one of the Ravens' biggest offseason questions. Stanley is due a $4 million roster bonus. If the Baltimore Ravens pick that up, it seemingly indicates that they envision him being on the roster in 2024. Cutting Stanley without a post-June 1st designation seems unlikely because while it would create $8 million in cap space, it also would put nearly $18 million of dead money on the 2024 Jettison Stanley post June 1st is more plausible because it would trigger $15 million of savings 
and allow Baltimore to absorb a third of his dead money on a 2025 salary cap. The best case scenario for the Ravens would probably be for Stanley to agree to a significant pay cut. That way, they create some cap space and don't have to find a starting left tackle. But such agreements can be very t- be a tough sell for a veteran player. Uh, yeah, especially like a, a pay cut. I mean, what, what I like to do uh, when we do these videos, I try to put us in the player's shoes uh, and us in the, the GM shoes or the, the, the franchise shoes sometimes too. But certainly you know, try to put us in the player's shoes so we can get a better understanding of where a lot of players are coming from. Because a lot of times as fans, they will look at players and be like, oh, that player is greedy. Oh, that player, all oh, he cares about is money. Uh, hello, this is his job. He ain't getting in his job to work for free. So with Ronnie Stanley, what Jeff Zerbeck was talking about, uh, when it comes to him possibly taking a pay cut if he was to rem- remain with the Baltimore Ravens. Like, how would you feel if your job approached you, said, hey, we love you. Thank you for everything that you've you done for us. We gave you this significant raise years ago because we value you. We appreciate your work. We know you're going to be really good for us. But uh, can we take back that raise? Can we lower your pay? I know most of us in here will look at our employee, employers like they were crazy. If they approach us about a pay cut, especially after they gave us a raise years ago. Oh, man. Yeah, we, that, <laughs> that wouldn't be good at all. So when it comes to Ronnie Stanley, uh, we see exactly uh, why that can possibly be a tricky situation in the future. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, speaking of pay, Chuck Clark. Uh, Chuck Clark is somebody who the Baltimore Ravens, they paid him years ago. Not no crazy money or anything like that, but he had gotten a contract extension with the Baltimore Ravens. But uh, then they ended up drafting Kyle Hamilton. Uh, Chuck Clark was then traded to the Jets, uh, and he was there, and it was looking like, all right, Chuck Clark going to be with the Jets. They got Aaron Rodgers and what the, all right, cool. But then he tore his ACL, unfortunately. So that ended his season before it even got started. But the Jets, in good faith Jets, they said, hey, no, 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 Chuck Clark, even though your season got ended prematurely, we're going to bring you back another year because the, the, the Jets, they signed Chuck Clark uh, to a one-year deal. So he is returning to New York. So they lost him for the season. They lost Aaron Rodgers for the season. They lost some other people, but they're trying to get the gang back together to possibly go on a run. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, somebody who has been a big part of a lot of successful runs, well, all up until the Super Bowl, has been Debo Samuel. You know, Debo Samuel is a very interesting player because he's technically a wide receiver, but he's like a wide receiver. He's a running back. He's a Mr. Do-It-All type of player. And uh, I remember a couple of years ago, a lot of Ravens, before he got his deal, a lot of Ravens fans wanted Debo Samuel to potentially be part of Ravens flock. They wanted the Baltimore Ravens to trade for Debo Samuel. But the 33rd team said, oh, you know what? Let's take what a lot of Ravens fans wanted a couple years ago and let's bring it back to uh, reality right now. Well, not reality, but let's bring the thought of it. To reality right now because the 33rd team says that the ravens should get debo samuel for mr lamar jackson and when you think about that you think about hmm the way that they use a flowers it'll be a little bit different uh the way that they use uh justice hill and keith mitchell it'll be a little bit different the way that they use rashad bateman it'd be, it'd be like a mix of how they use everybody but all in one player and that could be Debo Samuel. What they said was adding Debo Samuel would likely require a high pick, but he'd be a perfect fit. The Ravens have shown they are not afraid to go after elite talent, and Samuel might be the best wide receiver available via trade. And I didn't even know that he was available via trade. If he is available via trade, that would certainly be a very interesting player for the Baltimore Ravens. They would have a lot of fun with him. A whole lot of fun using him as just a straight up weapon. So if they were to make that move, I wouldn't be mad at all. At all. But we won't know till we know. Um, now, something that we do know is that a lot of Ravens fans have been saying the Baltimore Ravens need to draft a cornerback. They need to pick a cornerback early. I know some mock drafts have the Baltimore Ravens picking a cornerback early. And initially I got it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need somebody opposite Marlon Humphrey. But then I forgot. I forgot this whole offseason. I've been forgetting about Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens is sitting right there. And I think a lot of us have forgotten about Brandon Stevens. Because with Brandon Stevens, for the past couple of years before last year, the previous couple of years before that, Brandon Stevens is a third-round pick. He's like somebody, are you going to have him at safety? Are you going to have him at corner? They've been flipping, flopping back, him back and forth. But then this year they were like, are right, you going to be a corner? I was like, oh, okay. Baltimore Ravens, uh, before the season started, they signed – 
uh, Rocky Singh. So I was like, okay, that's going to be our other corner opposite Marlon Humphrey. They signed Ronald Darby. So, okay, we got even more depth. And I had forgot about Brandon Stevens even back then. But Marlon Humphrey got hurt. And Rocky Singh, I don't know what happened with him, but obviously may have fell out of favor with the Ravens or something because Ronald Darby ended up starting. But Brandon Stevens had been a starter all year, and he held it down. He had an amazing year this year. So the Baltimore Ravens, they have a cornerback. Now, I ain't mad at them getting even more quality depth because you could certainly use it. Because as we know, especially as Ravens fans, cornerbacks go down like that. Happens every single year to the Baltimore Ravens without fail. It's annoying, it's frustrating, but it's part of the game. So I understand getting quality depth, but we cannot forget about Brandon Stevens. In other news, it was said that Patrick Queen, he has some interest from the Houston Texans and that the interest is mutual, but it was also stated that he could be a good fit for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> that would be something right there. If Patrick Queen went to Pittsburgh, ooh, man. A lot of Ravens fans who are on the fence about Patrick Queen, ooh, they would hate him then. I wouldn't be mad at him, though, because he'd be getting his bread and getting his opportunity. And that's really what's going to happen wherever Patrick Queen goes. Um, even if he comes back to the Baltimore Ravens, which is probably unlikely, but it is still a possibility because, again, he ain't signed nowhere yet. But I think Patrick Queen tomorrow will probably know where he's going to end up. It's going to be sad because uh, I, I like Patrick Queen. I know a lot of us like Patrick Queen. I know a lot of people don't for whatever reasons, but I like Patrick Queen. I thought he was a great fit. I thought his uh, the way that his career, his career trajectory it just changed so much in a good way. Uh, it, it was nice to see it with Patrick Queen. Um, him finally start to find his footing and him starting to really, really get it uh, as a player. Uh, but now, that's it. And he found his footing at the perfect time. Contract year two? Ooh, ooh good stuff, PQ. So I, I hope wherever he ends up going, it does end up working out for him. Um, so we'll see what happens with him really soon. Free agency literally right around the corner. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Team Keep It Clean, we had questions from subscribers uh, that we put out, a video that we put out earlier today uh, with some really, really good questions. Excuse me. Really, really great questions on there. Uh, if you would ever like to be part of questions from subs, you can send an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the Team Keep It Clean patrons. A special shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. You can send it directly on Patreon. If you would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. And if you don't want to, that is perfectly fine. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel because I don't want y'all missing out on anything. I hate people hitting me up in the DM or something. Oh, man, I didn't even see you put out a video. Now. I, I didn't even get a notification. I, I don't, well, you got to subscribe and turn your notifications on. And then you, you will get every notification that comes out because YouTube has been very good with that recently. And also, leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel, but it helps out you too. Especially if you've been having trouble with notifications. It, the more you leave a like on a video, then the more YouTube will recommend that video, that channel to you. So whenever something happens, whenever something goes down, because I know a lot of y'all subscribe to a lot of different channels, and I get it. Shout out to the whole Ravens community, too. We got a lot of people doing this, and they do a phenomenal job. Much better job than we do over here. I could go name a whole bunch of names that do a way better job than we do, because I appreciate all of them, man. And I'm happy for me, because I get to get different viewpoints from other people. I'm happy for y'all, because y'all get to hear different stuff from different people, and I love it. We got so, so, so many great people that make content about the Baltimore Ravens a lot. Y'all got plenty to choose from. So that's why I, I especially appreciate when y'all come through here because y'all have so many options. But that's a beautiful thing when you got all those options. But anyway, shout out to all of them. All of them. Y'all make sure y'all check them all out. But anyway, um, when you leave a like on a video, that recommends that channel to you more and more. So when whatever content creator puts out a video, then it's like, boom, all right, when they drop something, you'll get notified about it. So leave a like on these videos, but not just here, for, for any Ravens content creator. And not even just to, to leave a like, not even just so you can get recommended that channel, but just to show them some love because they all really, really deserve it. 